and welcome to Dominic Salva TV. Today you will be learning how to make this tree with a face who may or may not be evil. And what you're going to need for that is a picture of a tree. A tree that is not smooth. So go to over to Google Images and look yourself up gnarled tree, rough tree, dimpled tree, anything except smooth tree and you will find yourself most likely a very nice knotted tree and the first thing we're going to do with this knotted tree is drag his lock right down into the trash and now go to image adjustments curves and drag down on this until your tree is dark that makes him look more evil although your tree may not be evil that just makes him look more evil now zoom in right here onto what will be his face and look for something that would fit an eye in it this tree just so happens to have a nice hole right here that looks like an eye and if you're lucky, your tree will too. So take your pen tool and cut out this eye right here and try to cut in dark areas or areas that are not as detailed so that it doesn't just look like you cut out the tree and it'll look like he actually had some eyes even though he doesn't. It's a good trick. So now you have your path and you go down and you hit this little dotted circle which makes a selection of your path. And now go to select, modify, feather, and feather it by two pixels. And that will just make it smoother and not look like you cut the eye out of the tree. Now make yourself a new layer and while selecting this layer, hit Edit, Copy, and then on the new layer, Edit, Paste. Okay, and while selecting this new layer, go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontally, and just drag it over. And just like that, Mr. Tree has two eyes. Now hit Control T on the keyboard and make sure your arrow is bendy and then just drag over on your eye like so just so it's not sticking straight up and you may notice that part of his eye is sticking right off of his trunk. Now we're going to fix that. So take his opacity and turn it down to where you can just barely see it. You, the most important thing is that you can see this trunk behind him. Take your pen tool again, make a new layer, and just go along this trunk here. and just make sure you go along it well. I didn't do it very well. This is important that you do this and don't screw up. So try not to screw up. And the important part is the part where his eye actually sticks out. Once you get past there you can just draw right around it. It's not important. So, there we have our selection. Now, make selection. Then, select, modify, feather. And you can feather this by one or two pixels. Two makes it look a little weird. And now, select, inverse. Make your, sure you're selecting this layer and now hit delete. Now select, deselect, and turn your opacity on this eye 
right back up. So now the eye is no longer sticking off the edge of the tree, and it's just right there. And if you hadn't just cut that eye out, you wouldn't even know it wasn't supposed to be there. So there's his eye socket. Now for his actual eyeballs. Make a new layer and take orangish, yellowish, orangish, yellowish, greenish, whatever color you like, and take your brush tool, make have a fuzzy brush of about 45 pixels, and just draw in his eyes here. And you don't need to do the best job because you'll see why in a bit, but just make sure you color in all these black parts. Those are the important parts. So there. And now set that mo that layer's blending mode to color dodge. And it makes his eyes look like they're on fire, which is pretty cool because most people don't have eyes that are on fire. And now since most eyes do have pupils and his don't, create a new layer, select a black, just black, still with your brush tool, but turn the fuzzy brush down to about 20 pixels, and draw yourself some nice pupils on this guy, because otherwise he would not be able to see and we definitely want our tree to be able to see. Now set that layer's blending mode to soft light. There's other blending modes that'll work, but soft light definitely works the best. Now take your zoom tool and zoom back out. I would say he looks pretty good for a tree that started out without any eyes. Now for his mouth. Zoom in and choose a spot for his mouth. Mouths generally go below the eyes. I guess if you wanted to, you could put his mouth above his eyes. I'm gonna go for the normal mouth position. He just happens to have another knot here that looks pretty good for some buck teeth. So, let's just cut out nice mouth shape. And again, go in these black non-detail areas so that it doesn't look so cut out and make sure you stop right at the edge of the tree so his mouth isn't flopping off the edge of his face unless that's what you're going for which you probably aren't and if you're going for buck teeth like I am make sure you cut around those There we go. And now, same as before, make your selection, select, modify, feather. Feather this one by two. And then, same as before, take your brush tool and fill that in. And make sure it's on a new layer so you don't do what I just did. and then set the blending mode to color dodge just like the eyes and if you want oops, if you want you can turn your opacity down a little so he doesn't look like he's like firing lasers out of his mouth or anything that way he'll just look on fire which is what we're going for and i'd say that looks pretty good so now on this layer still he probably wants some teeth. So take your pen tool, create a new path, and cut yourself out some teeth. I'm going to give him triangle teeth because most trees tend not to have square teeth. Make a selection of that and then on this layer just hit delete and then you don't even have to make a new path since these are just triangles do that and then 
let's move that guy down a little. Make selection, delete, select, deselect. Those are some good looking teeth for a tree. Now take your pen tool again and on the same path cut out the middle of your buck teeth if you're making buck teeth, which I highly advise. And since trees don't go to the dentist, just keep their teeth nice and crooked because it'll make him look more evil. Not that he's evil or anything. Now you make a selection of this path and on this layer once again, fill it in with the orange. Select, deselect. And there you have your buck teeth, spiky teeth, all that a tree could ever want. Now, take a brighter yellow color, something like this, and take a small a small non fuzzy brush and this is a thousand times easier if you have a tablet but I assure you it can be done without one so what you want to do is you take it and kind of just streak it along the outsides here first what you want to do is make a new layer that's always important And what you want to do on that new layer is streak with this yellow color, maybe a little smaller. Let's try three. Just streak right along here. And what this does is it gives the impression of the light from in his mouth actually coming out and kind of making a glare against these parts that are outside of his mouth. And you pretty much want to get it on every angle because that's how it would be. Even on this edge here against the open, the outside. And it is way easier with a tablet, but I assure you those of you who don't have one can do it, because I've done it on lots of things without a tablet. There. And now, when you zoom back out, your tree has his nice little glow around his mouth. And that is how you make a tree with a face on fire who may or may not be evil. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I certainly enjoyed making it. And I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.